hay, hay, and hay. I have an itchy nose. Uh, good afternoon, everybody out there. Don Lachance here coming to you live from my backyard. Switch the angle around a little bit because I'm looking at life from a different angle today. Um, at least I, uh, I, I'm attempting to do that. Anyways, um, thanks for all your kind words yesterday on my Facebook live broadcast. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today I want to talk about something that is um, near and dear to my heart, but something that troubles me at the same time. And um, look, I'm going to put some terminology out here. And um, I can't diagnose anybody, but you certainly can. And so I'm going to put that freedom and that ability in your court. And what I mean by that is this message is for a segment that I consider or that I will name the up and outer. And uh, I'm, I'm doing that with something very specific in mind. And I'll put some framework around it and you can decide whether or not you fit into that category. An up and outer, from my perspective, um, and and I'm I'm using this term because I fit into this category. Okay, uh, it's not something that I'm looking at putting a label on anybody else. That's why I'm saying I can't diagnose you. It's much like alcoholism. I can't diagnose. Nobody can diagnose you as alcoholic. Only you can do that. Well, it's the same thing for up and outer, at least from my perspective. So bear with me. This is my Facebook Live post. So. Uh, I get to set that perspective. Uh, anyways, um, here's what I mean. An up and outer is somebody who um, has been extremely successful most of their life. Uh, they've put their hands to work that a lot of others weren't able to. And as a result of that, find themselves in precarious situations. Find themselves in situations where they're not able to retire right now. They're not able to step into I guess a world that they were they were expecting to step into at this point in their life. They're typically older. They're in my age bracket. I'm 63 right now. And I've gotten to this place um, not as a result of laziness. Uh, I've worked hard all my life. I've gotten to this place and I'm being vulnerable with you right now so I want you to, uh, I, I want you to understand that. I don't want this to be like a post where I'm standing in a better place than you. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm looking. Uh, and I, I found an option and it, it, it's, it's becoming my solution because I'm embracing it as an option. Uh, and only because somebody else had the courage to step into vulnerability and share this openly with me. So I'm kind of paying it forward if you want. I'm, I'm giving back. So he, here's the deal. Um, I've always had the ability to turn the money tap on. And as a result of that, Retirement and savings were always a distant thought. Now, I don't know, you know who out here that's listening to this fits into that category, but here are some of the questions you may have. Yeah, I'm in that spot, but I don't know what to do. You're feeling hopeless? I get it. You're looking for work in areas that you're overqualified for? I get it. You'd be reporting to somebody half your age? I get it your wisdom, your spirit, your drive, none of that really matters anymore. I get it. You find yourself in a place where, how do I move forward? What do I do from here? What are my options? And often we sit in these, I, I guess I'll hear, I'll, I'll, I'll call it a pity pot because that's what we end up on. And um, we feel bad for ourselves. And that keeps us stagnating, that keeps us paralyzed, that keeps us in the place that uh, the world is comfortable to have us in because we're not making ripples, we're not making a difference. And I am tired of that. I don't want that in my life and I certainly don't want it in yours. If you can relate to anything that I'm sharing right now and this is speaking to you, I don't want to go public with this with anybody. I want you to send me a private message and I want to have a conversation with you because I'm intentionally going to probe. I'm going to ask you what you believe led you to where you are right now. And let's have an honest conversation around that. I will answer any questions that you have. I'm not coming at you from a place of um, anything else but authenticity. 
I want to be real with you and I want to create enough space for you to comfortably take off your mask and talk about the reality of your situation. That's all. It's no more complicated than that. That's really what it's all about. Private message me. I promise that I will get back to you if you're courageous enough and if you're willing put your phone number in there because I will pick up the phone and I'll talk to you because here's one thing I understand nothing absolutely nothing converts better than conversation does so if you're looking at converting the situation that you find yourself in right now and you're ready to diagnose yourself as an up-and-outer who finds yourself in a situation beyond your control and not because you haven't been successful because you've been successful and that's been kind of a double-edged sword for you. You're like me, you're 63, you may be running out of time or feeling like you're running out of time. I don't want to paint that picture because I don't want to speak that kind of stuff into existence. I want to be around for a long time. You know, I want people to call me Methuselah, if that makes sense, for all you Christians, like or non-Christians. He was the oldest guy in the Bible. Anyways, I digress. This, this really is an important message that I'm getting out there and uh, I don't know how else to find you. I don't know where else to look. I've been posting stuff on LinkedIn hoping to attract uh, some um, mind share, more importantly heart share, um, b because the challenges that you're faced with live in your hearts. I know that. Um, you don't need to go on feeling like you're unworthy, feeling like you don't have hope, feeling like you don't have an out. I'm here to tell you that there are is what I do and what I have in the way of conversation to hold with you going to be the key for you? Only you can decide. The same way only you can decide whether or not you're an up and outer. But here's something I'm understanding and I'm learning. That a down and outer is typically broke because they are broken people. An up and outer is often broken because they are broke. There's nothing wrong with being broke unless you make a decision to stay there. I want to help provide you with some information that you'll get to turn into an option that you can decide to move forward with or not. So private message me, leave me a phone number, get me a way that I can actually have a conversation with you and we can have that. So if you found value in this or you think that you may want to share this with somebody, please feel free comment below give me your feedback I'm always open to that because I, I firmly believe that all of us are smarter than any one of us and the more feedback I get the more I, I, I guess yeah feedback is really kind of the only way to say it because whatever you respond to me here uh, I, I'll take his feedback um, and I'll I'll weigh it out I'll have a look at it if it's something that helps me move forward and communicate this more effectively uh, I'll implement it for sure. So um, if you did find value in this, please um, like, comment, and share this with people who you think may need an option, may be looking for some hope, may find themselves in situations that they're not comfortable talking to anybody else about. Maybe they've confided in you. If that's the case, talk to them first and find out if they're um, willing to have you share because if they confide it in you there's a great trust element there and I don't want that broken um, for the rest of you if this resonates in any way shape or form don't be ashamed don't be ashamed do not let that stop you from exploring what the conversation can unfold alright have a great day folks unless you have other plans